This morning around 6 a.m. I woke up to a bunch of emails telling me that Fujifilm has just released a new firmware update for the 16 to 80 millimeter zoom lens. So our regularly scheduled programming will happen tomorrow with another Fast Friday that you'll see tomorrow evening. In the meantime, let's check in one more time to this focus wobble issue to confirm that it is still doing it on this lens before I install the firmware update. Okay, here we're gonna do it right now. I've got the camera in video mode, all right? I've got the front on M for manual, manual control. Everything is in manual right now and the camera is in video mode. I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom all the way in and I'm going to manually focus. All I'm doing is I'm turning the manual focus ring. That's all I'm doing. Just turn it right to about there so that it's nice and sharp. And all I'm gonna do at this point is pull back the zoom. That's it, nothing else is being done. Zooming out, zooming in, zooming out. You see the blur? Look at the rocket. Look at the USA on the rocket, see that? And that's why I recommended to hold off on getting this lens. However, let's see if the firmware has fixed it. I'm taking a formatted smart card out of the lens. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the computer now. Okay, let's go to Fuji's website and the firmware download page. It's under 16 to 80 millimeter. And I'm gonna click on firmware download, blah, blah, blah. Scroll down to the bottom, agree, begin download. And then you have to click the begin download button. Okay, it's downloaded, there it is. It is now right here. I'm going to drag this file and drop it onto my SD card. So now I have the SD card. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in slot one. You need to put it in slot one. Then what you do is you press and hold down the DISP back button, press and hold it down. And while you're holding it down, turn on the camera. Here, that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna say, okay, boom. And then you get this, you know, do not open battery cover, do not turn off camera, don't touch it, don't even think about touching it. You get this kind of warning notice. And you should take that seriously because firmware upgrades, once you start them, you've got to see them all the way through. You can't interrupt them, which is the number one reason I would never do this using the app. I would never use an app to do a firmware upgrade on a camera. Always use an SD card in the manner that I've showed you. That is the safest way to do it, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I have a freshly charged battery in here. Processing, see that? Processing. Okay. It looks like it's done. Now I'm gonna perform the exact same test I did before I did the firmware upgrade. I'm gonna do it right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I am in video mode, checking on M. Everything is manual, exactly like before. I haven't changed a single setting on here. All I did was upgrade the firmware. Here we go. Zooming in. And focusing and zooming out zooming in and zooming out now i don't think this fixed the problem um i was so excited i was like i can't wait i'm gonna have like a party hat and i don't think this fixed the problem folks let me i'm gonna tr try it again here okay manually focusing on the subject getting it nice and sharp now i'm gonna turn the zoom ring and pull out here we go <sighs> i don't know um it's still there it seems a little bit better. Um, what would help would be for me to take this thing outside to that um, fountain area where I shot the original footage along with the 18 uh, to 55 millimeter and do a full in-depth comparison. So it looks like there has been some work done, particularly on the edges of it. It seems a little bit better. Would I still recommend this lens as a... We're getting closer. We're getting closer, but I would really like to know what they fixed with this firmware update. Um, it doesn't say that. I literally just found out about this a few hours ago from some YouTube viewers. So um, 
I would say they probably have fixed other things and maybe slightly improved the focus wobble issue, but it's still too early to tell. My recommendation is, no matter what, you absolutely, if you have this lens already, put the firmware on it, check it out. Things that may have bothered you that don't bother me, they might be fixed. The focus wobble issue was the main reason I couldn't recommend this lens. So um, has that been fixed with this firmware update? Not enough. That's my initial impression. Um, as I said in my other video, <laughs> we're not done with this lens yet. I, I don't know what to do because I, I love so many things about it. This is just one crazy lens, you know? <laughs> it makes me nuts. So uh, sit tight. If you've not bought this lens already and you have the 18 to 55, I would say sit tight. I, I, honestly, let's see what the other reviewers say about it. Please, other reviewers, put the firmware on there, run some tests, check it against what you've already done. I will do the same and let's see what we can find out. What I do want to say is that I think Fujifilm is listening. I think they it is wonderful that they did release a firmware update. Whatever it was that they fixed, clearly they are eyeballing this lens. And if we continue to release videos and we continue to talk about it, I think they are listening. Okay, that's it. I have a new video coming out tomorrow. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I will see you then. Take care.